The infamous Tokyo Dome riots unfolded due to the overwhelming demand for the final piece of the puzzle, Exodia the Forbidden One, contained only within the event-exclusive booster, Premium Pack. Attendees were told that if you missed the opportunity to purchase this pack at this event, there would never be another opportunity to purchase this product. As a result, over 65,000 people attended, with thousands unable to even enter the venue due to capacity limitations. While this event was primarily set up for Yu-Gi-Oh!'s national tournament, most people in attendance weren't there to compete, but rather to have the opportunity to open the coveted final Exodia piece. Drastically miscalculating the overwhelmingly unbelievable turnout, there was only one booth available to purchase Premium Pack, and as a result, sales of the Premium Pack were canceled not long after they began. The horde became increasingly violent as people had been waiting for hours to purchase these products, which ultimately devolved into a full-on protest of Konami for the way the event was poorly organized and managed. The tournaments ended up being cancelled, and not long after the events had unfolded, it was later announced that people would be allowed to purchase premium pack through mail order. At long last, Exodia the Forbidden One was finally playable, but even with all copies of the pieces being legal at three, they were incredibly difficult to acquire considering the bizarre distribution methods required to obtain them. In the history of the OCG. Finally, after 10 millennia, we have assembled all five pieces of Exodia, the Forbidden One. People will now fear his wrath. His power is infinite. And boy, did he suck. Now, obviously, acquiring all five pieces of Exodia was a difficult task, right? Exodia's head was distributed from the Tokyo Dome. Two of the limbs came from like video game guides, I think. And the other two limbs were actually easy to acquire because they came from the typical booster volume, you know, booster pack method. So, Getting all five pieces was a feat enough in itself. Actually, resolving Exodia was, I think, a completely separate matter because, as you can see, even if you were able to acquire all five pieces of Exodia, it's rough. It's really rough and pretty optimistic to believe that you're going to actually win matches playing with this deck because let's take a look at what's going on here. We have our five pieces. And then what? We, of course, have Triple Graceful, Triple Pot of Greed, and we've got stuff like Swords to slow the game down, and we're even on Triple Skill Angel just so we can actually draw a little bit deeper into our deck. But what else do we have? I mean, we're on the Vanillas again, like Aquamador and Giant Soldier of Stone. Hane Hane is going to bounce stuff back to set our opponent back on tempo so, like, we don't die. Magician of Faith obviously is insane because it can get back a Graceful or a Pot. But man, you are really huffing some copium if you think you're going to be able to resolve Exodia the Forbidden One during this period. I mean... At this point, you're really just trying to flex on your friends that you have the pieces and they don't, because why would you play this when you can just play the regular good stuff deck that we've been playing up until this point, right? And like, whether or not you play it with Ultimate Offering or just like the regular style where you're just playing like other cards instead, I think both versions are probably superior to this. Like I said, you're really just playing this just because it's like, it's more of a flex than anything else. And yeah, you're gonna remember that time that you assemble all five pieces, but that's not going to happen very often because you do not nearly have the degree of consistency you need for an Exodia deck. This is like one of those bad, like, eternal duelist soul Exodia decks that you would play against when you're, like, first playing one of those, like, old GBA video games. That's what this reminds me of. And honestly, those are better because those are playing some cards that we're actually missing that we might be seeing in future episodes. What I will say is that the people who did pick up the Exodia pieces during this time get heavily rewarded in the future because some Similar to a Dragon Ball Z villain like Frieza or Cell, this is not going to be the last time you see Exodia. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, 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 Joseph, we're back once again, and uh, this time we might be assembling five specific cards in our hand to uh, bring us victory today. How do you feel about that? Not very good at all, to be honest. <laughs> I'm feeling very bad. Why? Some of our best moments together have involved the pieces of Exodia. I don't know what you're talking about. Surely this will be no different, right? Some of our best moments. You some of your best moments. Some of my <laughs> some most of your of my best most moments embarrassing too. losses. You should be happy to know that I rolled a one, so you get to dictate if you want to go first or second. Usually I want to go second, so I'll click that. This hand see looks well really good. You. We'll have to see how good it is when you face down my pot of greed, my friend. Oh, God, this hand actually isn't that great. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to set one and pass and hope it's good enough. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Uh, graceful charity. Sure. It's like goat format, you know? As long as we're even on our pots and gracefuls, like, everything's fine. I don't feel like everything's fine, uh, but we're not even on pots and gracefuls. <laughs> Shit, yeah, okay. We are very not even on pots and gracefuls. Oh. <laughs> we are very are not even you on are pots You are complaining! You are complaining! What is this bullshit? We are very not even on pots and gracefuls. <laughs> Did you get the third uh, one, too? Huh? No, the train stops here. I should have given you the Exodia deck. You probably would have had it by now. Let's go swords. Sure. It's so stone soldier. All right. I'm going to fissure that. Uh, All right. I feel like you got some cards to waste. Elf. Am I dead? Reborn. Oh, I might be. No, you're not dead. This is what? 25 and 44? Or uh, 25 and 19 to make it 44. I'll set one. Back to you. It's anyone's game, surely. Uh, thankfully, I got this right, Geki. I actually think I need to hold yep. off a bit here. Uh, I'm going to set one and pass. Let's turn one on swords. Uh, swords. It is Skell Angel. I'll draw a card. Ah, damn. Okay, I was kind of hoping for something else. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to do this. Go ahead. Yep, I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Stand by main. Uh, I will just set myself another monster, and uh, I can't attack. Go ahead. Turn two and one on your respective swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, moth. Um, yeah, sure. Let's get charity. Uh, graceful. You know, if you just deck yourself out and then uh, I lose because I have lower life points. So that could be a win con for you. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Um, like that. 17 cards left in deck versus my 30, by the way. Uh, let's just get the screws on. Uh, sure. Elf into... Oh, the new one is going to be something stupid. Uh, let's just walk into the skill angle. Okay. Pass turn here. Start by flipping up my own skill angle. So I'll draw. Uh, and then we will try for a graceful charity. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Now the fun begins. Uh, we will pitch a copy of Hane Hane. You know what? It worked so well before. I think we'll pitch another copy of Hane Hane. <laughs> yep. I'm going to... I mean, your hand is probably just like reborn, reborn. I'm dead 10 ways. So it probably doesn't matter. I guess I'll reborn your summon skull just to be annoying. Sure. Then I will activate my own swords. Oh, okay. And I will set one and pass. And you probably have the Feather Duster, too, so. I wish. Uh, shit. Well, go ahead. Okay, let's turn one on my swords. Draw. Still can't really do a whole lot. I guess I can turn the Skelling Gel to defense. Guess I can, like, set a guy. Hope that's good enough. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Your swords oh. is gone. Uh, graceful. Perfect. Perfect. So you've gone through all three now of that's both. True. And Magician of Faith, one of them, by the way. That is that is true. Uh, we will Feather Duster. Sure. Flip Summon Maneater Bug. Are you popping? Get this one. Behold, another Stone <laughs> Soldier. Indeed. Uh, let's Summon... Let's Summon Summon Skull. Uh, we'll go Combat. I'm really shocked you have not drawn Raigeki by this I point. know, yeah. yeah tell funny. me about it. Uh, we'll go Kunai here. Yeah, so I'll take five. And Skill Angel dies to your man eater bug by 50 points, by the way. And then I'll take yeah. 19. Go ahead. All right. Well, there's still a chance. Graceful Charity. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to pitch a Hane Hane and a man eater bug, I guess. Mm hmm. We got Pot of Greed. So we're slowly, we're equalizing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not even close, actually. I'm, what, at three? Yeah, I'm at, no, I'm at four. I'm at four. Four to your seven. Uh, and we're probably just, like, dead here, right? Uh, maybe not. I guess if you draw Regeki, we're dead, but it's fine. Uh, we'll go Reborn your Summon Skull. Yep. Then we're going to attack... Hmm, I would have done this differently, but that's okay. We'll attack this guy. I'm gonna Fisher off your Gemini Elf. Yep. In main two, of course. And then I'm going to set one and pass. And somehow we're, like, somewhat stable until I get blown out here. Well, I'm hoping you're getting blown out here. Uh, Fissure. Uh, that, that, that'll probably do it. Uh, chaser. Got a guy. He's got a guy. 
Yeah. Uh, this is weird. Um, no, I still do this attack this way. Wow. You do. It's Magician of Faith, but I'm dead. Ooh, so okay. good game. I was. I had three pieces. Surprisingly, I was actually getting a lot closer than I thought. <laughs> So close. I still can't believe you went graceful into three pots into graceful, by the way. <laughs> like, and and almost okay? lost. All right, let's 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 see if we can't do it again. Okay, that's one. Uh, well, I mean... Okay, all right. If you insist. Uh, I think we'll this go. is making up for last episode, by the way, when you were complaining about me getting this crazy amount of uh, draw power. <laughs> that's all I got. Uh, I will draw. Mm -hmm. Got my own pot. It's only fair. All right. Uh, not great though. Not great. Uh, I'm just gonna go set one pass, I guess. This is an unbelievable hand. Uh, Moth. I'll grab Graceful. Don't you love that there's just no way to interact with Moth? It's great. Uh, I actually don't think it's great at all, actually. I think it's quite <laughs> bad. Uh, we'll pitch Swords Elf. God, your hand is so cracked when you're pitching Swords. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, if you insist. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Okay. Pitching the summon skull reborn coming in hot. You may you may be you may have figured it out. Oh my god. This is disaster. You have like triple yeah. reborn? Do I have triple reborn? Sick. You know, Alex, that is a really, really, <laughs> really Holy good question. Shit. One, <laughs> two, three. And uh, normal summon. I do have the normal summon. Would you like to guess? And the you last have the right geki. <laughs> In fact, I do. Let's fire it off now. <laughs> oh, sometimes Exodia oh is just five God. good cards. Ugh. Is this even lethal? I actually want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, it's close. It's probably lethal. I don't know if it is. Oh my god, wait. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! That was fun. That was a good one. I'm, I'm trying to game three. I want to yeah, see if I, I can bet. at least resolve Exodia once. Okay, maybe if we have a start like you with a quadruple draw spell, maybe we'll uh, we'll have a chance here. Let's let's see. I, I've only gotten to three pieces at most, so that this should feel so redeeming for all the times you've lost to Exodia in this series. It, it is it is nectar. All right, we're just gonna set two here. Go ahead. Okay, uh, we'll draw. I unfortunately opened <laughs> zero draw spells, so we're just gonna set and pass. A huge skill issue out of you. Uh, let's go, Moth. Oh, clearly, yeah, clearly. Mo it, 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 you, there can't be a, an interaction <laughs> with Moth soon enough. Uh, GC. I, spoiler for the next episode: we do get an interaction with. We actually get two interactions with Moth next episode. Uh, pot. Oh my god, this is so... Oh. I thought last episode was bad. This is way worse. Okay, it's not so bad. We're we're not the greatest duelist of all time. You don't want to attack with the moth, Coward? I'm good. Right. It's it's just Skalangle. It is, you're right. Yeah. Uh, I'll it's draw, like... and that draws me into a graceful charity. Let's it's great. go, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Woohoo, Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, uh, this hand still blows, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of... Can I get rid of like my whole? Where's card destruction? Where where's that card? Good get rid of question. fucking Mador and Stone Soldier. I think you're honestly better off playing like the the actual beaters instead of the walls. The walls just like don't do anything. Speaking of which, you know, I'm gonna take out your Magician of Faith. Just no. Can... Okay, that's fine. I'll take in case you do deck yourself, here. you know, I need to be up in the life point total. Uh, and then you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna set another card. Go ahead. Moth. Uh, let's grab Great. Graceful Charity. Uh, and how many times can we do this? Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, one, two, three. You have two oh, left in the deck. Bangers. Oh, my God. We didn't get anything. Uh, we'll do it like this. This is so boring. Um, <laughs> just doing <laughs> boring, this. Boring, he says. Just walking in with you know, Joseph, I think the problem is you just don't have enough cards. Truly. That's true. Oh, that is God. true. I guess I'm going to flip this Maneater bug and get, like, the sickest two for one ever here because i don't really know what the hell else i'm doing well you know what yeah just hit this damage you had the fuck you're not gonna kunai with chip. yes i am i gotta use fissure <laughs> i gotta protect oh my god okay are you using this in damage so i'm not going to defense yeah no i'm not gonna <laughs> i don't want you tributing this guy. 
<laughs> sure. Uh, okay, so you go up to 800, so I take 350 from this. Oh, yeah, this All is right. going to pay off big time. Uh, second main, you know what? Just just end it now. I know you have, I know you can end it. Just end it. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I literally can't. How can you, I refuse to believe that. Isn't that like the saddest thing ever? <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping this is Skalenkel. It's another uh, manual bug, which I'll take punished. out your Gemini Elf. Goodbye. Now put that in the graveyard. That's not Hane Hane. Get that out of here. Okay, finally, Pot. Yes. Oh, great. Just two great ones. Uh, I will... I can't believe I can't out this stupid fucking mob. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just set one. Go ahead. It feels so weird just passing with this many cards in hand. What is she at? 850. Eight. She's 800. Mm. I'm close. I bet. Let's swords. Behold the stone soldier that has done nothing this entire right, episode. This guy out of here. Continuing to do nothing this entire episode. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, we'll do, He's we'll going do in. A, a medium play. Okay. So I take 8, 18, 25. Yep. Well, I may as well be dead. Uh, or am I dead at all? Pot. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is so irritating. All right, it's right, Geki. Yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You set me up pretty nicely. I feel like you've got your own, which is the whole reason you made this play in the first place. So probably whatever I do here Could is completely be. irrelevant. Uh, I mean, we'll just set and hope it's good enough. Go. Oh, no. It is. How could this have happened? I feel like a moron. Uh, go ahead. I'm shocked. All right, please. Uh, Well, it is a swords. So let's see what we're cooking. Get this guy out of here. Oh, we're, we're cooking that guy straight to the graveyards. What we're cooking. Uh, well, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna fish her off, man. Eater. <laughs> Why not? Go ahead. That's turn two. You ready? Swords. You were dead if you didn't fish her. That man eater oh my! I figure I'm like, you know what? I'm never gonna use these fishers anyway, so I may as well. No, uh, you might be dead anyway. I drew pot. Uh, that's true. Yeah. No, you are not. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a chance. There's a chance. Swords. Behold, another oh stone Fucking soldier. this guy. You know, somewhere in this deck, I swear to you, I do have Magician of Faith or uh, <laughs> or more copies of draw spells, but apparently this game just refuses to give it to me. I, I will just set. I literally can't do anything. So one sword is gone. That sword is on turn one. I will draw for turn. And I'm probably uh, dead now. We'll bop this one. Not my Hane Hane. Right, Geki. All right, Harpy's Feather, Feather Duster. Duster. Yeah, yeah, And now yeah, behold, yeah, yeah. the play that seals your doom. 450 you got the kunai and with Jade. double kunai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got geez. it. Oh, I Agony. didn't get to show. My, um, my hand was two Exodia pieces, a Fisher, and two Reborns. But, like, if I know you have a Raigeki, what am I, and Swords is up, what am I going to Reborn? Oh, look! I do have Magician of Faiths in this deck. Who would have thought? I go 20 cards deep and don't see Magician of Faith. Wow. Yeah. Um, um, I really Exodia don't have anything sucks. to say other than <laughs> it seems like we're playing the same deck, except yours is playing four Vanillas. Uh, Basically, yeah. Like I said, I feel like... So, like, this is, like, the first Exodia deck that's theoretically playable, right? And, like, mm -hmm. if you have draws like you did where you have, like, six Gracefuls and Pot of Greeds and actually see your Magician of Face, then, like, maybe there's a remote possibility you'll actually be able to uh, get into your Exodia cards. But I don't know. I feel like the 2K defenders just, like, didn't do anything, and they may have just been better off being, like, active attackers to at least, like, threaten some of your guys at the very least. I don't know. Like, Skellangel and Hane Hane just didn't feel like they did literally anything. Skellangel and... felt like the worst card in the deck. Which is weird, right? Because it, you would think, in theory, with having Pot, Graceful, and uh, Magician of Faith, having one extra card to draw that you have nine potential hits, depending on how deep into the deck you already are, is actually, like, really good. And I, I think one time I drew a draw card off of it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's good. I, I guess this card at least has a purpose. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, I know Exodia is... Uh, we're not. This is the last we're going to see of Exodia. But I think people were coping if they were thinking this was, like, <laughs> the move at the time. <laughs> yeah. 
So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community soon, Cancel Bio Committee soon, Cancel Bio Players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment.